I don't know how well you can tell, but it is a very, very foggy day. In a way, it kind of feels like Daytona Beach is completely abandoned or something out of the movie Silent Hill. It's like a ghost town. There's so much fog everywhere, just completely enveloping buildings and like the entire beach. It really feels like we just stepped into a horror movie. It is unsettling. We've been hitting up a lot of the Hard Rock hotels, casinos, and restaurants throughout the country as much as we possibly can. And before we leave Florida, we've been meaning to come up here to Daytona Beach and check out the Hard Rock Hotel, which is what we are doing today. Wherever I come, bad luck is coming my way. Wherever I go, hard luck is that it stays. Good luck never stays a day. A bad luck's always coming my way. I don't know. I feel like this Hard Rock Hotel in Daytona Beach, Florida definitely has a Florida feel to it. And just a heads up as we go further and further into the Hard Rock here at Daytona Beach. It is the holiday season, so there are Christmas decorations scattered throughout. It's actually really, really nice. Very pretty. Alright, how's that for a creepy Christmas card, right? Jessica in her skeleton dress. That's... Man, you are just creepy and beautiful. That's a little strange. We are in Florida, which is generally known for how warm it gets. But it is rather cold and Jessica is warming up by a fake fire. It's pink. But it's fake. As soon as we walk in, there's an outfit worn by Rihanna during the Diamonds World Tour in 2013. That's pretty neat. You know what? I never really thought that I would ever see one in person, but here is MTV Music Awards 1993, given to Madonna for, I think it says rain? But here in Daytona Beach, at one point, this is where they held their spring breaks on MTV, the celebrations that they used to do. And because we're on the beach, here is a bikini worn by Taylor Swift while celebrating the 4th of July in 2015. I had no clue that she got her career started in country music, of all things. There's a plaque here that says Steve Vai, guitar virtuoso. Steve Vai received this classic 1946 Harley Davidson as a 30th birthday present from his wife. This thing is cool. Inside this case there's a check written by Dwayne Allman from the Allman Brothers Band and a guitar signed by the entire band. Down here at the end of one of the hallways we find a shirt, a Hawaiian shirt that was once owned and worn by the late Dennis Wilson of the Beach Boys. That's cool. And over here it looks like there's a surfboard signed by members of the Beach Boys as well. Turn the core and hidden behind a Christmas tree is an outfit worn by the late Jimi Hendrix. Yeah. You know what? These displays are actually kind of nice. There are so many different walkways and hidden areas and steps. I don't even know where to begin. We're just kind of walking through this place and just seeing what we can find. Walking into the cafe, looks like the tables are actual surfboards. And you guessed it, what hard rock in Florida would not be a hard rock without a guitar that belonged to Tom Petty? Florida native. It's a little hard to see, but Elvis Presley wore this extra cool racing jacket in his 1968 film Speedway, as well 
as on the cover of this Christmas album that same year. And there's the album right there. The lighting could be a little bit better, but here's a military themed jacket that was once part of Michael Jackson's personal wardrobe. And the artwork right here is part of the original album layout for Thriller. A little side note, when I was in grade school, I actually took a record player and the album Thriller by Michael Jackson to school for show and tell. And I played Thriller in front of the entire class. I can't remember if I actually sang and danced, but I played Thriller for show and tell. That's how cool I am. Right now we're on the second floor, mainly so we can get a better look at these four mermaid tails, these mermaid outfits over here across the room. And the plaque tells us, and I had no clue, that Bette Midler actually had a show residency in Las Vegas at Caesars Palace. I think from 2008 to 2010. Let me get a little closer. But these mermaid tails were worn by Bette Midler and her backup singers. Yeah, Jessica, I think you need a mermaid tail. They're kind of sexy. It's so fun. You know, we came to the Daytona Beach Hard Rock Hotel because of the music memorabilia, but I think I actually like the way they have everything set up more. It's almost like a photo opportunity. I mean, there's Jessica sitting right there on these couches that are made to look like old cars. But the setting, the scene, the blue Christmas tree, it's phenomenal. This is perfect. What do you think, Jessica? You really digging it? It's a nice little lounge area, and it turns out it's a charging station. Oh. Looks like we're gonna be doing all these things out of order. We just got off the elevator on level three. There's a pair of pants worn by Cheryl Crow. And down here, a guitar that was owned and played by Kenny Chesney. And then over here, I know jack squat about NASCAR stuff. Let me back up a little bit. But because Daytona has the speedway, there is NASCAR stuff here. I don't know anything about it. I'm not gonna lie. Right now, we're just kind of walking through the hotel, seeing what we can find, if there's anything hidden around the nooks and crannies. Jessica pointed out, and I have to agree with her, that the lighting in this place is absolutely phenomenal. Yeah, I like it. So that was floor number three, right? And there's seven in total. There's seven in total? Fair enough. So let's choose a different floor. As soon as you get off the elevator, you're greeted with a group photo of the Runaways. That's Joan Jett on the far left. Floor four really doesn't have much, except for these tennis shoes that were once owned and worn by Joan Jett from the Runaways. It even says Joan Jett was here. She signed them. What do you think, Jessica? Anything down there? No? Time to go to floor number five? Number five. Number five. Floor five looks almost identical to floor four, which was Joan Jett. This one here is the Rolling Stones. There's a picture of the Stones on the beach. And the piece of memorabilia that they have for the Rolling Stones is right here. An outfit, more a coat, worn and owned by Ron Wood. Looks like floor six is devoted to Van Halen. And again, there's a picture of the band on the beach. I feel like this is, I feel like I'm caught in some sort of weird Groundhog Day episode or Twilight Zone episode. But here is a guitar that once belonged to Eddie Van Halen from his personal collection. Jessica, this is starting to get a little repetitive. It's like every floor, it's the same style picture on the beach mm -hmm. and then one thing. Last floor in the main part of the hotel, floor number seven. So let's go ahead and see what's over here. Cheryl Crow? I don't know. Is that Cheryl Crow? No, it's Madonna. It's Madonna. She's looking very Cheryl Crow-ish. Let's see, what is this? It's a hat. Madonna, the classic Harley Davidson hat was owned and signed by the one and only Madonna. You know, for a second there, I thought that 
what she wrote was the word Hallmark, like the Hallmark Channel. Yeah. That's interesting. Most people do XOXO. She does XOXOX. There's little tiny trinkets on the phone. Let's see, I don't really oh, yeah. That's cool. Let me go over this way. Oh, beveled glass. Can you see it? That's pretty awesome. I think that is very worthy for floor number seven, Madonna. Right now we're heading down a hallway to the meeting rooms, hoping that there's gonna be something else down here. So far, nothing. They got pictures all over the place. I think that's meatloaf. That's cool. So the bathrooms, there's Madonna. Women's room, third floor. And then over here, Elton John, men's room, third floor. It looks like we found the meeting rooms. Kind of reminds me of like a 1950s diner. And as soon as we walk in, right here on the wall, is an outfit worn by Shakira. Jessica, I can, yeah, I, I can so see you wearing something like that. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to go ahead and say that this right here, a leather jacket owned and worn by Jerry Garcia of the Grateful Dead is probably the coolest thing that Hard Rock Hotel at Daytona Beach has. That's, it's, it's pretty wild. And upon closer look at the leather jacket, there's a Grateful Dead patch. Very cool. So that's pretty much about it for the Hard Rock Hotel here at Daytona Beach, Florida. It really wasn't that big. They did have some really, really cool music memorabilia. My favorite was the Jerry Garcia leather jacket from the Grateful Dead. I'm not a fan of the Grateful Dead, but to me that was probably the most iconic thing that they had yeah. here. Just, I've never really seen any memorabilia for Jerry Garcia except for his. Except for ice cream. It's, I think it's something completely different. It's Ben and Jerry's. Well, yeah, that's true. Cherry Garcia. Yeah. But it's still good. That's true. Very small place. I'd come here and stay. It's right on the beach. That's the beach right behind us, obviously. Uh, you were saying that you absolutely loved the layout of this place. I do. It's a small hotel, but the way that they use their space is extremely creative. It has a very enjoyable feel to it. Almost like a miniature maze, kind of. Um, but it's easy to find your way around. You won't get lost. But even just looking from the beach to the hotel, I think that's really how you're supposed to look at it is from your beach view. Yeah. I can see it in the background and it's lovely. It's gorgeous. The one thing that we didn't point out and I kept meaning to, but it was a little hard to do. It seems that each room in this place was named after a musician. There was or a band, yeah, yeah. Or band. There was a Nirvana room, a Bette Midler room, a Gloria Estefan room. Etc. Yeah, etc. etc. Seven floors. Yeah. And each one had a different group. Pretty it. impressive. Yeah. Before we let you guys go for the evening, I did want to show you the beachfront side of the hotel, the Hard Rock Hotel. It's beautiful. There's a pool. But you can pretty much just walk right out to the ocean. There's Jessica, looking absolutely beautiful. Nice. Right? Very lovely. I would stay here. I'm surprised that we haven't the entire time that we've been living in Florida. Or at the very least, this is our very first time being here. And with that, happy Halloween. It's come my way wherever I go hard luck is that it stays Good luck never stays a day A bad luck's always a coming my way